Back by popular demand here at the Back Porch Antiques, we're spending a little bit of time in our tool booth. Uh, Toolman Jack is good at what he does. If you've been to our store, you're very familiar with Toolman Jack and his particular room here at the Back Porch Antiques. I want to highlight uh, some of the things that he's brought in, some of the things that you might be interested in. Again, uh, one of our more popular videos uh, is highlighting the highlighting of tools specifically in this booth. Uh, so here we are again. We're going to show you some more things. Um, some of the things that I'd like to show you that, that catch my eye, um, he, he's always got a good selection of big knives. Um, big, sharp, a lot of butcher knives, uh, cleavers, things like that. Uh, this particular piece is a military U.S. butcher knife, uh, marked U.S., really clean, cleaned up well, got you know brass and those sorts of things in it. And, and he always highlights that well. If you know Jack, you know that he uh, makes them look pretty. Some people come in and say, why would he clean up those tools? Tools are made for using. And some people come in and say, man, those are beautiful. And I don't, you know, don't really know what, you know, your thoughts might be on that. Uh, if you like them cleaned up or if you don't like them cleaned up. But what I know is that everybody who comes in here loves Jack stuff. Uh, he sells a lot of stuff and he loves the way that uh, it's cleaned up. Here's a pretty cool little uh, cleaver. Not an expensive piece, but just kind of a odd piece, you know. And, and he has some odd stuff around that, uh, that sells well. Uh, and that's a pretty cool piece. Um, here, Ontario Knife Company with an old hickory handle. Maybe it's an old hickory knife. Um, just got some pretty cool little indentions and things on it there. You just don't see that stuff often. And Jack keeps it in stock and it presents well. Also, I mean, odd stuff like this. How often do you see a four-pound hammer with a short little handle on it like that, and he calls it a good shop hammer, hammer as clean as it is? If a fella swings that all day, he's going to have the forearms the size of a tree trunk. Always, Jack has always good planes. Uh, here's a good example, a Stanley 140. For those of you who know woodworking, you know this. Um, good piece. All of it's there. Uh, the handle's good. Um knobs are good cleaned up well knife all on whole nine yards uh right there looking good jack is also known for his um selection of blue ridge uh bluegrass rather not blue ridge but bluegrass tools uh, here's a good example um just an absolute beautiful uh, hanes pattern hatchet um just a beautiful example of a well cleaned up piece of bluegrass um, I don't know where I got that from. I think it was right there. Uh, here's another one. A good bluegrass piece. He just does an extraordinary job at cleaning those up. We've got a lot of people that come in looking for his bluegrass stuff. Got the old traditional uh, blue-handled uh, bluegrass tools here as well. Um, he has a good stash of these. I mean, I remember using these as a kid. You probably do, too. Um, but they're they're highly collectible. People like them. They were well made, good tools, well marketed, um, and these are near mint. The things that he keeps that are bluegrass, um, just good bluegrass tools for sale here at the Back Porch Antiques. There's some uh, wrenches, uh, things like that. Um, you know, moving right along, some of the cool pieces. Jack always has some good pulleys around. For those of you who like pulleys, uh, he keeps. Good block and tackle type pulleys, good, you know, iron work, good woodwork, polished up, looking good, uh, those sorts of things. Uh, keeps them, you know, keeps them looking good. Uh, here's a cool little piece. If you like kind of the the display, that's that, you know, famous bluegrass level. I think that's a bit or something. Uh, jointed file, um, but the money is in the, you know, the bluegrass label, the old bluegrass label. I think that's really cool. He keeps some of that stuff around too. Uh, draw knives galore if you need a draw knife you take your size 9 12 you name it whatever you whatever you need whatever you like um he's got it that's adjustable really cool things you don't see very often are available here at the back porch antiques in booth number 10 um uh, here's a pretty cool piece it is a uh 
basket maker's fro. You know, you've seen fro's, but you rarely see them that small. Uh, you know, it'd be a pretty cool piece to, to still use if you needed that. Uh, that is an early piece. Look at the blacksmith blacksmithing work on that, and of course the handle. Kind of wonder, you know, with that handle being made like that, if it wasn't uh, made to, to give a little bit of relief for the knuckles um, so that you didn't whack on them too much. A pretty cool piece. How many of these have you ever seen? I had never seen one until Jack brought it in. Let's see here. G.F. Voigt, double claw hammer, patented 1902. Huh, it's a pretty cool piece. You don't see many of those. Double claw hammer. You can find that here. It's a Voigt. Find that here at the back porch antiques. Pretty rare piece. I think that one was over here. Huh. Being from the fire service, I've seen a lot of these over time, but I rarely see them that shiny. I see a lot of potential with that. You know, fire collectors and things like that would want to collect that. But also, I see uh, retrofitting things for lamps or, or things like that. And um, they're, they're just pretty cool pieces. Last piece I'd like to highlight is this huge eye saw. That's right, an eye saw here in eastern Tennessee at the back porch antiques. Beautiful piece, pretty cool piece. Would look good in any home. Um, <laughs> you just don't see an eye saw much, but you can find one here at the back porch antiques. And I suggest that if you like old tools, that you come see us here at the back porch antiques. Remember Booth 10, Toolman Jack, he's bound to have what you want. Come see us.